Y'all have been so sick this week, but today is Friday and I'm feeling better. And I really got to get in here and finish some things, clean up the house, um, wash my bedding since I've been sick. I packed the baby's diaper bag, but I'm going to repack the bag and probably pack our bag in this video. Um, I've got his bottles out. I bought a sanitizer. It will be here, I think, tomorrow. So I have to sanitize all his. I'll go ahead and get his bottles sanitized. Um, but like we are packed, as you can see, my husband has not put up the hammock. Um, we are packed up in here. This is after the baby shower. Um, all those are baby shower, um, diapers and wipes. And those are for my diaper cake from Michelle. All those are my storage bags, pads, milk, breast pads. He got so many books, y'all. Um, <sighs> He's got more wipes and stuff up there. He got clothes. I mean, we have everything. And it looks like really congested right now. He got, I took off his um, little brother and put the cow on there. Cow print because I was excited about that. Thank you for that. Mississippi memo. Um, Mandy, if you're watching this, his little toys came in. His little chew tools came in. So we're going to finish this up today, y'all. Um. And what I mean by finish this up, uh, it's pretty much where it's supposed to be. I'll probably fill up that diaper caddy so that I can put it in the living room when he comes. I'll vacuum in here, get all that done. And then in my room, um, I'm going to wash my bedding and stuff. I did set up his little um, bassinet. This was from Jasona and Nola Cooking with Jen. And this is from Tammy. This is his sleep elephant. Oh, my God, it's super cute. Those are breast pads here. And then down there, I just have some newborn diapers. Maybe he'll be a newborn size. And then I have uh, wipes and then his foot monitor that I have to sit up when he gets home. I'm going to do laundry today. Y'all are just going to watch me do all this. I'm going to do laundry today. I'm going to sit up my little corner over there for him. Um, I did set up this. Excuse that. I did set up this where it's like his hygiene stuff. Um, just basically like soaps. Oh, I need to clean mirrors. Basically, like his soaps, all that stuff, lotions, um, everything that you can think of. Granny sent me home with these, and I thought she wanted me to put them on my cooter. Y'all know Jason's grandma, but they're for my breast. Oh, set up my little corner over here. It was like shit because I've been sick, so I gotta clean that up. And then I'm going to put everything in this place. Probably move the humidifier over here and just set it all up. And that's what y'all going to watch me do today. If y'all see that line that goes around there, I've told y'all a thousand times my husband can't paint. He's supposed to paint over that. Okay? Y'all, in all honesty, huh, huh, I'd be out of breath and tired. I probably need to put some pants on so y'all don't see my moose shoe. Oh. Yeah, I don't think y'all see it. Get all this in the washer. Um, and then I think I'm going to start on the diaper bag, maybe. Or maybe I'll vacuum. I don't know. I know people usually put, like, their music and stuff um, in the background. But, yeah. I don't know how to do all that. So, there's that. But I'll just... Y'all, as we go along, so I told y'all I already had a diaper bag, but I want to like repack it because um, there's one little outfit that he got from uh, his what is it called? Baby shower, and it was this little thing, and I think it's so cute. And it's probably gonna be too big, and that's okay. Um, but I have his two blankets. Uh, I feel like y'all need better lighting, do y'all? I feel like I could put y'all over here. I'm going to show my cooter. He's like sticking out there, y'all. Um, so I'm just going to pack these little bags. I mean, these little uh, blankets. So he has one. And then he has the second one that he got before he was even here. Um, I'm packing this just in case. Hopefully, he can fit it. Um, I probably could have took it off. I packed two bottles, just in case. I know that they have pre-made bottles. I don't like how this looks either. I feel like I need, y'all know I'm, I got bad lighting. 
I'm Shane. Uh, I did pack two little bottles. Um, and that's just because uh, I plan to breastfeed. So if for some reason I need to catch some extra or I don't know, for whatever reason, I just got two bottles that I throw inside, two little empty bottles. Uh, I have two of his burp cloths and that's just because they are custom and they say Kingston up. They say Kingston. So those two are going in his bag. I have one swaddle. Oh, I have my haka. It's my catch from my um, breast pump. He has one of his swaddles. He has two pairs of these little mittens. A whole pack of socks. Because who don't need a whole pack of socks? He has this outfit that says, For this child we have prayed. And then these little pants that all match with it. That I thought was super cute. Um, so that's one outfit just in case. And if I'm overpacking, that's okay. Um, there's his second little outfit. Shout out to Chi Randy. Um, there's a second outfit. This one right here is his first outfit. And this came from Michelle. And it's just a little elephant gown. And you can tie it or whatever. At the bottom, I think super cute. And it has a little hat to match. I really have to give me a new ring light. I broke mine. So this is his third outfit. Because I don't know how big he's going to be. And then... Just joined the team with the matching hat, the little football hat, and the little football pants. How freaking cute. So, how many outfits is that? Four? Four outfits, just in case. So, that's four outfits um, in his bag. Four outfits, two bottles, one swaddle, a pack of socks, my haka, two blankets, my fan, or his fan, whoever's fan that they want it to be. And then I'm thinking about taking this um, mini sanitizer, portable sanitizer for um, his pacifier. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bag. Shout out to his Nana for his portable um, pacifier. Thank you, Majig. That I, I don't know how it works, but we'll figure it out one way or another. We'll figure it out when the time comes. So that's his bag that I'm packing for the hospital. That's all he needs for the hospital. Um, probably too much that he needs for the hospital. And then I'll pack my bag in just a bit. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, my lighting is trash. Maybe I'll put y'all right here, but my lighting's still a little trash. Um, I was gonna. I don't know what if, if you see any clothes out there. That's my. It's not clothes, it's actually my bedding because I'm washing. But um I don't know. Also, this is this goes with the baby stuff too. So I'll put this. I'm just gonna put it over here in this little bathroom yet. Um that goes with the stuff. Um my husband, I have y'all shaking, stop shaking. I have no idea what my husband wants to take um outfit wise, but I did choose to take a couple of my comfortable towels um i don't some towels are just too hard like i like these old ratchet towels oh uh, so i'm gonna take a couple of these towels in case just in case so that's two towels and like four washcloths here's three nursing gowns which is too much i know don't worry about it don't worry about it um uh, Here's my husband, a pair of sleeping pants. Here is him, a t-shirt. Here is him, two pair of drawers. One with my face on in case he get lost in the hospital. And then his Ethicas, or a pair of his Ethicas. Um, four pair of socks. I have this, which is just my leftover travel bag. It has a toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, body wash and lotion in here um i need to take my nipple cream um i'm not taking like a whole lot i said that wasn't a whole lot four pair of socks uh, i just have to change my socks out my breast pump which is right here 
Um, I need to take a blanket. I'm not taking any draws because they're going to give me the hospital draws. Or should I take a big pair of bloomers? Maybe I should take my most comfortable, biggest pair of bloomers. I got to take these. Um, and then my cup, which I'm not going to put in here right now. I use it at nighttime. Oh, I think that's it for me. My husband, he'll just have to give me an outfit that he can like hang on the side. So towels, not a lot. Towels. I will uh, get me a pillow to take with me. Uh, but that I think that's 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 decent, right? That's, that's pretty decent. It's it's, it's good, right? It's good. Y'all, I completely forgot. Um, that I need deodorant. I added my phone charger. I got a 10 foot cable um, and a, a rechargeable charging port thing. And then my hairbrush. I forgot those things. Anything else that I'm forgetting, y'all leave in the comments. It's absolutely insane how tired I am. Oh, um, that's my clothes that I gotta wash. Garbage bag of stuff I've been taking out of here. Um, I did get these washed. Still waiting on my pillowcases. Um, wipe my mirrors and stuff off. <sighs> Try to scrub the bathroom, y'all. I feel like he's huge. <sighs> like, bro, where did you come from? Because you have not been right there. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom, um, scrubbing stuff in the bathroom. So you see, like, shit out of place, washing all my, uh, towel, hand towels and stuff. But I feel like I've been very productive today. Although I'm still tired as hell. Like, I have to work for five minutes to take, like, a 25-minute fucking break. Um, but I'm getting it done, y'all. I'm getting it done. I done swept and mop. Um, just do a laundry. I need to get me a curtain to go right there. It is like raining outside and it's icky, icky, icky. Um, I put all our bags under there so I can be ready to go. Then y'all have already seen this little area. I have to put, oh, I did put his diaper. Let me put this back off. I did end up putting, um, like his little laundry basket and then I put his diaper genie there. And then his bottle warmer. I do have to put his, um, the refrigerator over there. I was going to use this tiny one. Oh, it is too little for what I need to do, but it came in handy for my husband's side. So, I'm, I'm trying, y'all, if I can get this damn laundry done. Hey, I, why? Because y'all know I can't do shit right. Um, I'm going to tell y'all how I've been feeling. Damn, I look big. What the emphasis? Anyways, I'm telling you how I've been feeling. So, like yesterday, I'm 35 weeks today, but last night, I would say like last night, um, yesterday evening, probably like six or so, I started feeling a lot of, um, like lower back pain, um, a lot of coochie pain, a lot of, um, like my lower abdomen cooter connection whatever goes on right there i feel like there's a lot going on right there last night usually it happens when i stand up for a long amount of time or like i walk around and stuff and and i just chalk it up to like round ligament pain which i'm sure that's what it is but i'm like bro he's coming okay he's not gonna make it till april the first he is coming all right um but last night, it was, like, rough laying down. Like, any position that I got in, like, it was just felt like he was just, like, peeping out from under my movement. That's how close he was to my cooter bone down there. Um, But I did get everything basically finished. I mean, his nursery was done. Um, As y'all can see, it just needed to be um vacuumed everything his diaper bag like all that stuff i want to like vlog even if i'm doing nothing i really want to vlog these last couple of weeks because like this has went by so fast and i just want to remember like 
what I was feeling, like the excitement that I'm feeling and just I'm so ready to see him and just love on him and kiss his little fat cheekies because I know he got some little fat cheeks. Um, I'm just ready. Most people ask, like, am I terrified? I think sometimes, like, I'll get nervous. I'll wake up, like, out of my sleep because there'll be, like, a dream of me giving birth that is, like, horrible and the pain is, like, excruciating. And then I'll wake up and I'm like, <sighs> I'm scared. But then I have to keep telling myself, like, we're made for this. It's going to be okay. Like, is it going to be just easy peasy, lemon squeezy? No. But is it going to be, like, something that is just too much no i don't think so like I, I it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay my wish is that my water would break and that he would come natural but if he doesn't i mean that's okay too um if i have to be induced or something my next doctor's appointment is thursday i'll probably say this like a thousand times in this vlog but you know but anyways i really do want to vlog um at least every other day up until he the time that he gets here um uh, hopefully i can vlog like when we're on our way to the hospital i don't know how much i can get of me being at the hospital because y'all know my husband is not a camera person like he's not a vlogger <laughs> he don't really do social media like that um so we'll see but it's getting really close 35 weeks today did i have a growth scan on thursday and if he's like already too big then like what's gonna happen next Oh, what's gonna happen next? Shout out to DNA Williams, y'all. They had their baby, Baby Jagger, yesterday, the day before yesterday, 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 I think. Shout out to them because, like, I was refreshing, trying to. What's going on? What's going? On? What's going on? Also, um, I've had a few people that ask uh, what delivery services we have out here, like food wise, after we get home from the hospital. <coughs> well, got done. We only have an Instacart that comes to our house, and it doesn't go everywhere. Like, it only goes to, like, grocery stores like Kroger, Save-A-Lot. Kroger and Save-A-Lot, I think Dollar Tree. So, it's not like you can go wherever. We don't have DoorDash that reaches this far out. We don't have, like, pizza that's delivered out here. Um, We have received, like, a few um gift cards for, like... Uh, Zaxby's, Domino's, stuff like that to grab something to eat. Um, I did randomly yet last night. Um, if y'all was on my live, y'all heard me talk about this. There was this lady like a few years back. She was on TikTok. I think her name was like Trixie or something on TikTok. Trixie, Tyree. It was something like that. But I remember that she was struggling and in the hospital. It was like the time of like the last flood down in Louisiana. She had like five kids and like she was so terrified. Like she just knew she was about to die. She was sepsis. Is that how you say it? But anyways, I knew that I, I wanted to like help her because I knew she was like struggling that it was real because I followed it for so long. So I was like, okay, I guess this is my sign to like help this lady, you know, financially. Um, and just pull through and help her. And then all of a sudden, and that's like two years ago. And then all of a sudden, I was like, I get a ding and my cash app goes off. And it's the lady. Like, I didn't, I haven't even seen her in I don't know how long. It was, okay, just stop recording. But anyways, it was the lady and she had sent me $50 to my cash app. And it was, she was like, I still don't have much, but like, I'll never forget you and what you've done for me. And I was just like, it's crazy because... You listen to some people that complain about life every day. Like, I have one friend that complains about every fucking thing that happens in their life. But at the end of the day, like, nothing that you do in life goes unseen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it always comes back full circle for whatever reason. Um, there's something that's going to happen and God just puts that there and lets you know, like, you're going to be all right. I don't know. It's just weird to try to explain. But anyways, I randomly got a cash app, so I'm going to use that. And I think I'm going to go and, uh, Mandy says she's going to work on the nurse basket. She does a lot of couponing, so I'm going to buy some little extra things, some baskets. Um, we're going to do a a.m. and a p.m. Um, nurse basket, um, with snacks for the hospital stay. Um, so maybe, you know, if we're nice to y'all, y'all be nice to us. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I had to make a outro to this vlog and I, but I do want to just start vlogging like just a little random stuff. Um, I'm trying to think, I know I'll vlog probably when I go to my doctor's appointment on Thursday. 
Um, if Cindy does my ultrasound, because I'll be able to show y'all the ultrasound. But if not, I'll probably still vlog. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to vlog. Also, I feel like I'm in, um, I feel like I'm in nesting stage. Like, I really want to clean and do stuff around the house. Although my house is, like, clean, I still don't feel like it's, like, clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I sweep a mop, I feel like... I wish I had a rug hook. I could just vacuum and vacuum and pour down the stuff that smells good and just vacuum some more. That's how that's how I feel. My my head, my mind is like all over the place. And then my husband's like, I'm going to help you clean. Yeah, okay. Just hang up that fucking hammock in there, sir. That's all. If you watch this, if you're watching this, because I know that you are subscribed to my YouTube, hang up the damn hammock. Before I get mad and my head twists around and does like the exorcist. And some shit comes out that she ain't never seen before. Thank you. Love you. But anyways, y'all. I just want to give y'all an outro. Go ahead and upload this video. It's Saturday. So it'll upload in just a few minutes. Um, and I'm going to take a nap, bitch. I'm going to take me a nap. And I'll see y'all next time.